Hey, what's up all you Blender users out there? I'm Sam from Rococo, and today I'm super excited to be taking you through our workflow for full performance capture, both body and face from within Blender using the new Rococo plugin. So we've made it super easy to either retarget your motion capture onto your character from within Blender, or you can stream all this full performance capture from Rococo Studio into Blender using our live plugin. Let's jump right into it. So there are two ways of working with face and body Rococo mocap in Blender. You can live stream the data directly into Blender from Rococo Studio as you're performing it, or you can record a performance and then transfer that to your character. This second method is the workflow you would want to use in most cases when working with and rendering a full performance capture in Blender. So here I have a Blender project with a rigged character. To get facial mocap to work, you will need a character that is rigged with the correct 52 blend shapes. There are workflows for Adobe Fuse characters that can give you these blend shapes. We put out a tutorial on how to convert Daz characters to have the correct 52 blend shapes. This little alien guy is from Daz, for example, but it requires Maya. You can also get characters with the correct blend shapes from services like Polywink, but however you end up doing it, you'll need a character with the standard Apple ARKit 52 blend shapes in order to use facial mocap. We actually have a character with these blend shapes in the description below that you can download and play around with and use for your projects in whatever way you want. Okay, so we have our character. Let's hop into Rococo Studio. I recorded the intro for this video with my SmartSuit Pro and an iPhone 10 for the facial mocap. When I was recording this, I actually set the phone down on my desk and it still does a great job even though it's not the optimum angle. Normally, I would use a helmet mount for the iPhone. Okay, let's export this take. When I'm working in Blender, I want to export a binary FBX. Hit export. Okay, now let's pop back into Blender. I'll go grab my mocap animation by heading to import FBX. First, I'll import the body mocap. Make sure that automatic bone orientation is checked. Then I'll import our face mocap. Body and face export separately out of Rococo Studio because sometimes you don't actually want them to be packaged together. I'll also rename everything to keep it all clean. To get the body mocap transferred to our character, we'll open up the Rococo plugin and sign in. You can download this plugin in the link in the description below. You'll navigate to the retargeting tab. We will put our mocap in the source slot and our little alien guy in the target slot. Then we'll just hit build bone list. So the first time I did this with a Mixamo skeleton, I had to manually input the correct corresponding bones. But once you do it once, you can hit save and the plugin will generate the bone list automatically every time you use it from then on. I will leave auto scale on to scale my animation to my character, use the current pose, and then hit retarget. Now if we play it back, we can see that everything transferred over correctly. So if you try this and you run into issues like the arms being in a weird spot, you can check out our retargeting specific Blender tutorial linked in the description below for a possible fix, especially when it comes to models that have an A pose for their rest pose. Check out the tutorial if you run into issues. Okay, so our body is done, now for the face. If we click on our actual face mesh and dive a little bit deeper, we can see that it's shape keys in Blender that are driving the animation of the blend shapes on our face. So how do we get these shape keys transferred over to our character's face? So the first thing is, as I mentioned in the intro, our character needs to have the same blend shapes. If we go to our character, we can see that our character has these blend shapes and I can kind of toggle them up and down to check them out. To 
To transfer the animated blend shapes, let's jump into the animation workspace. All I have to do is click on my face mocap, navigate to our keyframes here, Control-A or Command-A if you're on a Mac and select all the keyframes, then Control or Command-C to copy them. Then I'll click over to our alien mesh and we'll just simply paste these keyframes. Now we have our mocap completely transferred to our character. We can actually delete all the original mocap and we can use this character in a scene or we can export it out to another program. Here I just added a couple lights and we had the intro to this video. So this is the method I would recommend for retargeting your mocap accurately to a character in Blender. However, our plugin also allows you to stream a full performance capture live into Blender from Rococo Studio. That is, as you're performing it in your motion capture suit, you'll see the results in Blender in real time. Let's run through that process right now. Okay, so here we are in Rococo Studio. My smart suit is on and I've got everything set up. First thing I'm going to do is connect my face capture from my iPhone 10, which I have right here. I will pull up Rococo Remote on my iPhone, and as soon as I do, we will get this little green dot here, and I can click this button, hit connect. On my iPhone, I'll get a prompt, I'll hit accept, and I will turn on the face capture aspect here, and you can see the face is in our scene now. And on the iPhone, if I hit this mask, I can actually see my face. I've got my beanie on to kind of keep my hair out of my face. Turn that off for now. Okay, so to combine this face with our mocap, I'll just drag the head onto our actor profile. And there we go. So now how do we stream this live into Blender? So we're gonna go to our live stream settings, make sure that our Blender tag here is toggled. We can check our port forwarding if we wanna just remember 14043 for when we're in Blender. Now we'll go to Blender. I've got the same character ready to go. And if we go to Rococo plugin, our Rococo plugin tab right here, and we hit start receiver, you can see that our suit and our face are actually showing up in Blender now. So to get this, uh, our mocap streaming live, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our armature, head down here to our Rococo Studio live setup uh, little area. For actor, we're going to select our suit and then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna, when we hit auto detect here, it's gonna kind of do the same uh, boneless generation that we saw from our re retargeting tag. But now when you hit set as T-pose and you're gonna need your character to be in a T-pose when you click this, it's gonna jump into, there you go. Now we're live streaming our body and, and it knows that that was a T-pose so now it can translate the data correctly from Rococo Studio into Blender. We jump back into Rococo Studio. There you go. We can see that we're streaming everything live. So to get our actual face capture going from our iPhone, what we're going to do is just select our mesh here. And as you can see, we got a new little option for face. If we go down to face. This is the, uh, you know, the head that we have in Rococo Studio. And it's, again, it's showing up because we have a receiver running. And now we're just going to auto detect for those same shape keys and boom, hold our iPhone back up and we have full performance streaming live from Rococo Studio into Blender. And we might be getting a little bit of lag just because uh, I'm recording this and everything and we're doing a lot of stuff, but, but this should normally work pretty smoothly. And you can use this to play around, you know, test out characters in real time, make sure you've got your movements right. Um, you might also do interesting things with dynamics. There could be a lot of uses for this. You can also record all of this directly to the timeline. If you hit start recording, then all of these actions will actually be recorded to the timeline. And now, if we stop recording, and we go to frame one and hit play, there you go. You can see that we actually recorded those motions. Start our receiver again. And there you go. So that's live streaming from Rococo Studio into Blender. Um, super easy and there's a lot of uses for this, um, but normally you'll end up using the retargeting workflow that we went through in the beginning half of this tutorial.
Here we've got them running side by side and everything is looking great. We hope this tutorial was helpful and as always, please put any questions in the comments below or reach out directly at support at rococo.com. Have some fun making some awesome mocap stuff out there and uh, tune in for more updates with our Blender plugins and our other plugins for other programs. Thanks everyone. Bye bye.